first tip i would like to give you is uh, to get a professional degree yeah you might think like why do i need to have like one professional degree in devops in order to get into devops related jobs but the thing is uh, if you have dedicated degree for it uh, there is high chance that uh, you will be getting placed in one of the top companies in campus only it's not like if you get degree that means you have to work less uh, you don't have to learn uh, anything on your own uh. yeah you should try to learn whatever the devops concepts are there properly but adding one additional devops related engineering or some other degree is always going to increase your chances of getting a better job in it uh, and it opens up lots of opportunities so having a dedicated devops degree or something related to that degree it's going to make your life a lot easier compared to people who are not having degree so if you are having opportunity to get a degree then it's always better to get a degree first because most of you might be learning in some college or something like that that's why getting into degree in masters or bachelors related to devops field is always better choice if you can do it but if you can't do it then absolutely fine there are other options also so we'll figure it out in this video second tip i would like to give you is uh, it's better if you try to get into devops related jobs for example there is something like a system administrator which is easier to get into rather like devops so becoming a system administrator for some company and getting experience in that particular field is always going to increase your chance that you are going to get better devops jobs because most of you are like uh, i don't have experience in devops so most companies ask like uh, two to four five years of experience how do i get it that's how you get it you go into one company you work as a system administrator and uh, the thing is system administrator is not something like which is entirely different from devops it's like similar related roles but it has to do most with the operating system management and uh, other things so that's why getting that kind of experience uh, is always going to add up into your devops experience so whenever you are going into applying some kind of high pay devops related jobs uh, they'll consider this system administrator role experience also in it so that's why getting into such jobs is easier compared to applying directly for devops related jobs maybe you might you can work for like six or like one year in that particular company and of course they are going to pay you for your work so take that payment plus uh, get that experience and use that experience to get better jobs in uh, big tech companies or something like that so that would be my second tip try to get into system administrator or some other related uh, role of devops just to get the experience in uh, devops related field third tip would be try to get into your local startup related jobs your friend might be building some kind of website or something like that and they might require devops role in it or uh, some other entrepreneur in your city or somebody like that uh, who you already know is working on some kind of software related project obviously they are going to need one devops person in that particular role but the thing is here there is high risk for example there is high chance that they might not pay you for like three to six four months or that startup might entirely fail and you might not get any kind of uh, payment from them but the thing is uh, if you go into such startups uh, that is going to count as experience as well as you will learn lots of things which will help you for getting devops related jobs so it's always better to sit and work in some company even if it is for free i'm not telling that you should work for free you should always try to get paid but even if you are getting like little paid that's always better than just sitting and uh, waiting for getting devops job or going and learning programming so that you'll be able to get into that particular field easier is always not a better choice so that's why it's always preferred that you should try to go and get devops related job even if it is in some startup which might not pay you well so that is always better than sitting simply fourth tip would be get certifications there are so many certification programs available online i'm not going to recommend any of them in this particular video but there are so many options available if you search in google or even if you go and ask chat gpt so there are so many options available so get those certificate yeah they are going to cost lots of money the 
more harder the certificate as well as more costlier it is there is high chance that uh, companies are going to consider that certificate as a valid and they're going to consider hiring you even if you don't have like professional degree or something like that uh, that's why it's always preferred that uh, to get uh, certified in devops or something like that uh, so do the research before taking any kind of certificate because there are so many certificate which might not have any kind of value they just cost money and uh, they might take your time also but in the end no companies prefer it so try to always do good research before applying for certificate and uh, do getting that particular thing because you are going to invest a whole lot of time to prepare for it and it's going to cost the money also so that's why get certified and uh, there is high chance that uh, companies are going to consider that uh, during they hire you fifth tip would be to practice more and more devops Try to build some project using DevOps concept and uh, try to do all the amazing works. Release it and write some blog or uh, create some kind of social media post uh, mentioning what and all you did in that particular project. So it's always going to increase the chances of you getting hired by some other company when they're searching for a fresh DevOps candidate. So it's always better to be active on social media and uh, post whatever you are doing DevOps related field. So the thing is, uh, in order to do that, uh, you need to practice DevOps every single day. So practicing it every single day and uh, learning new and new concept related to DevOps and uh, other fields uh, is going to increase your chances of getting hired. So what I'm trying to say is uh, build network. How do you build the network? You build the network by showing off people what and all work you are doing and uh, reaching out to them using social media or e email so go ahead and try to apply for 50 companies they might not hire you but uh, it's going to make sure you have like proper resume and some of them might reply back to you that time you'll understand a little bit more about what and all things you might lack and what and all experience they are trying to get from you so you can always try to get that experience and then reapply in that company after a few months. So that's also one of the way to get the DevOps job. So that's it for this video guys. And uh, I wish you luck for getting DevOps related job. It's fine even if you are fresher. You should try to get DevOps job if you are interested in it. Don't try to become programmer or something like that. Thinking like DevOps field is uh, not good and it's not meant for you. Try to get it. Then even after like few months if you are not able to do that. Then always there is programming which you can get into and get jobs. That's also hard. It also has process. So don't think that uh, you will be getting it easily. So try to get DevOps job only by following the tips which i said and uh, wishing you luck so that's it for this video guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, see you in the next video bye bye